few years ago, I covered creating PDFs with Wicked PDF, and one of the things that Wicked PDF requires is having the WKHTML2 PDF binary installed on the computer that's going to be generating the PDF files. And while that may not be too big of an issue, one thing that I found over the years is that getting the proper binary for the WKHTML2 PDF could be a bit annoying or cumbersome, and that's just one additional dependency that I have to worry about. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at customers who have orders, and within these orders, they can get a view of it, but then they can also download a PDF rendered version of this. And the nice thing about this is that we're going to do a pure Ruby implementation. And the library that we're going to be using for that is Prawn. And Prawn is one of those great libraries that can do just about anything you need with a PDF. However, it is a lot more complex. With Wicked PDF, we were able to use CSS and HTML to generate our PDFs. However, we are going to be a bit more limited and we have to step out of our comfort zone a bit and use a DSL that's provided by Prawn. But luckily, Prawn does have a really good manual that outlines a lot of the different things that you can do and a lot of things that you may need to do with your PDFs. And one thing I like about this documentation is that it just gives you the small snippets of code and then it shows you the rendered output of what something like that would do. And there are some trade-offs here. So we are making our infrastructure a bit easier as we are reducing the number of dependencies we have to worry about. But we are going to make our application code a bit more complicated because now we are having to use the Prawn gem and the DSL that's associated with it. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.